Very important. Good evening, Mr. President, Your Excellencies, dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. Towards the end of the season, I'm very happy to say that this is really a tradition by now here in the Hungarian mission that we say hello to summer always with music. This kind of series, what you have attended a few times already, what I call the Salon series, what I wanted to create in the atmosphere of the old, old Art Nouveau sort of scene, are really here for you to meet each other, to talk to with each other, to talk to each other, and to inspire each other. This is the whole thing. And of course, as Picasso said, we need art because it takes the dust from our soul. And we work so hard for peace and security. And we need these moments when we can just be together and we can just listen to the artist. And then we are walking with these artists together into another dimension. This is, of course, the end of the season, but it's also a special occasion for us because this is the end of the Hungarian Revolution 1956 remembrance here. And Mr. President doesn't even know that he will be presented with a special statue here tonight because we had the privilege last year to host the UN Day Gala concert and we dedicated this to all the people around the world who have died for freedom. And we created a book which you will be given after the show called a cry for freedom. And we created a statue which is called a cry for freedom. It was created by UNESCO artist for peace, Herba Ser, a friend sculptor. And I, Mr. President, would like to thank you for all your support. You took part in our concert, you supported our whole cause, and I really would like to give it to you. A cry for freedom. moments of today and as you've seen in the program there are two themes. One is that we are remembering this year a special Hungarian 
musician, and a composer, uh, Zoltan Kodai. And I don't want to say too much about him, but this is the painting of him. And actually, he not only collected the folk music of the Carpathian bases with his great friend, Bartok Béla, whose painting is on the other wall. But he created a method, a method for education, because he said that we mothers have to teach our children music already while they are inside of the mother body. And so I remember when I was uh, waiting for my son, I was playing the piano and <laughs> singing because I said, God, I said, so probably it will help. And I remember my father told me, the most important thing that you have a relationship to music because then you will have a key to the people. And this is really the Kodai method, which is very well known all over the world. The other thing, what I wanted to celebrate here today with all of you is women. Because in the UN, we are so happy that we fight every day for gender equality and we see more and more influential uh, women within the ambassadors, whom I especially welcome here tonight, in the <coughs> UN Secretariat and on the fields. This is really that we have to understand our contribution is so important to the world, to the UN, and to our countries. We talked about UNESCO before. I would like to say that I'm very happy to welcome Judith Pizar, who has been just named UNESCO Special Envoy for Cultural Diplomacy. Judith, you are here. You are <laughs> Judith is the widow of the legendary Samuel Pizar, who was a special envoy of Holocaust education, actually, while I was in UNESCO and we worked so much together. And Judith is just a fantastic lady who worked together with Joan Cage, Merce Cunningham, Andy Warhol, and I don't want to name all the people whom you have been working and building bridges in the world of art and music. We are very proud that you joined the UN family. This evening is also a music of Europe, so I'm especially welcoming the ambassador of the European Union here, although he's Portuguese and we will have more Spanish songs, but I hope you won't be very angry. <laughs> But we just wanted to put together really passionate songs here. So uh, you will, I, I wrote uh, just a few uh, uh, words about what kind of women you are going to meet here tonight. You are going, of course, to meet women from Spain and Hungary and Italy, France and America and Germany. They are unhappy. They are lonely. They are mean, they are selfish, they are passionate, they are sensual, they are sophisticated, they are biblical, they are merciless, they are seductive. They are women who are ready to sacrifice their lives for the country and for their love. They are brave, they are proud, and they are pioneer women. And I think I'm very happy to woman, frankly, I'm, I, I always, always felt it's, it's a good thing because we have so many roles, you know, we can juggle these roles whenever we feel something that we are not needed and we look for another, another role and that's great. Um, but you will meet on the stage today women who are actually not women and men who are actually not men. So that's all in the opera. You will hear the music. Strauss and Vivaldi and Bizet and Donizetti, Sanson and Gershwin, and endless of, of folk songs, not only from Hungary. Because really, these folk songs are the ones which were the inspirations you will see for so many composers. And if I could find a motive for tonight, I would say with Dante, love moves the sun and all the stars. It's so easy. So um, I'm very happy, as you, as you heard, I was talking a little bit about education and a little bit about performing art. There is a Hungarian mezzo-soprano who is a well-known singer all over the world, whom you will meet today, Andrea Mella, Meet the Woman. And she is also the head of the opera faculty at the Liszt Academy. 
And I think this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, special role in her life, that she has conquered all the stages of the opera all around the world, and then she decided to go back to the Liszt Academy and to teach. And this is the moment when I would like to especially welcome another great Hungarian lady who is just here with us, who is the most famous Hungarian actor. Not only that, she is a director. Not only that, she is the director of the most famous Hungarian theater, the Vig Theater. Eniko Eszegyi, thank you very much for coming. And I remember so many roles she played about women. And of course, it's so great that we have Under Secretary General Mr. Nassar with us because we have been working together in the last three years so strongly with your uh, department. We have created so many beautiful concerts and exhibitions. We did the Holocaust Remembrance together, so thank you very much for supporting us and for being with us. I, seen, I said the first row, so I'm not saying more now, that I would like to say that with Andrea Melat, you will have a great pianist here, Imre Patkali, who is actually uh, a graduate from the Liszt Academy, but he is working now and teaching here in the United States. And as you see, champagne has arrived. So I'm asking the musicians to start the show. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> 